Hi, I'm Catherine from the CX Foundation, and welcome to our three-part series on AI orchestration. Now, of course, in my dream, you spend half your day watching these one right after the other, do a little binge watching. But I also live in reality, so they are designed to just be able to be used on their own. Before we jump in, please hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and let me know in the comments what customer experience or CX adjacent topics you'd like to learn about next. Without further ado, let's talk about all things AI orchestration. So quick reminder, AI orchestration is the process of getting multiple AI tools, apps, and data sources to work together as a team to automatically and autonomously complete a task or solve a problem. So with AI orchestration, you're building a connected AI ecosystem where each tool doesn't just perform its own tasks, but actually collaborates with other tools to determine and then take the best course of action. If you're looking for a more detailed definition of what AI orchestration actually is, please check out part one of our AI orchestration series. So how does the AI orchestration process actually work? How do we get all these different AI systems and tools to one, work together, and then two, actually improve our workflows and business processes. There are three main layers to the AI orchestration process. There's the intelligence layer, the integration layer, and the orchestration layer. So the intelligence layer is the decision maker, right? It's the smart one. The integration layer is the connector that makes sure all your apps are working together. And the orchestration layer is kind of like the project manager or master coordinator. So first let's take a look at the intelligence layer. The intelligence layer of the AI orchestration process analyzes user input, uses reasoning to understand and interpret the intent behind that input, and then it decides what action to take. So in TechSpeak, the intelligence layer uses LLMs, which are large language models, and NLP, or natural language processing, to understand speech or text input. It also uses intent analysis to understand what the person actually wants and sentiment analysis to figure out how they're actually feeling. It then automatically generates relevant responses, determines the next best action in a workflow, or makes other relevant decisions. So let's say a customer messages your website chatbot to complain about a missing order. The intelligence layer is responsible for actually reading the complaint, understanding what the customer's problem is and what they want you to do about it, and then interpreting the customer's tone and word choice to determine how they're feeling. It then sets out a plan of action for the best possible way to resolve the issue. Next up is the integration layer. So the integration layer of the AI orchestration process connects all of the AI tools and databases needed to execute the intelligence layer's plan of attack. So in other words, the intelligence layer decides what to do, but the integration layer actually does it. So how are all these different tools actually connected? What's really building those bridges? So there are a few different options and hang on to your hats because this is gonna get a little technical. First up, there's APIs or application programming interfaces. These connect AI to your existing business tools like Salesforce, Slack, or Gmail. So if your AI agent decides that the best course of action is to issue the customer a full refund, it connects with your e-commerce platform's API to get permission to actually issue that refund. Then there's connectors. Now connectors are plug and play adapters like Zapiers that let you integrate tools without writing code. For example, a Gmail and Slack connector sends a Slack message whenever you get an email. Then there are webhooks. Now webhooks are kind of like digital doorbells. So when something happens in one app, the webhook 
instantly notifies another app and that triggers a chain of relevant actions. For example, whenever a customer places an order on your Shopify store, it immediately triggers a webhook that automatically logs the order in your CRM system. It sends your shipping department a Slack alert and then it emails your customer a receipt. So once again, to recap, the integration layer uses different connections to facilitate communication between applications that don't normally talk to each other. It also triggers a series of relevant and interconnected actions across all of these different applications. Finally, there's the orchestration layer. The orchestration layer actually coordinates the entire workflow. It's kind of the master of ceremonies or the project manager of your AI ecosystem. So the orchestration layer decides which AI tools to use based on the specific event it's reacting to. It determines what steps to take and the order of those steps. And it ensures that whatever action is being taken follows your business's rules and aligns with your overall goals. It also tracks progress and coordinates a backup plan. So what to do if something doesn't make sense or doesn't work, if a customer's unhappy with a certain action or if a problem still isn't resolved, it will create a backup plan for you. Most importantly, it makes the decision about which tasks it can handle on its own autonomously, and which tasks need to be handed off to a human agent. The orchestration layer handles conditional logic. So if X, then Y. If Y doesn't work, try Z. It handles workflow engines, you know, the tools that let you design and execute step-by-step -step business processes. It handles event triggers, or the spark that starts a workflow and it handles agent frameworks. So those are the frameworks that manage your AI agents, that monitor task progress, and that choose or connect your different tools. Let's look at an example. So let's say a prospect booked a demo call in Google Calendar, but they never showed up to that call. So whenever a client fails to show up, that will trigger a workflow in your orchestration layer. First, it'll check Gmail to see if that prospect ever actually confirmed their attendance. It's gonna determine whether or not they're a high value lead. And it'll also figure out if they've ever missed demo calls before. So if they're a frequent no-show, the orchestration layer is probably gonna decide that the best thing to do is just send out a casual, fully automated email asking them if they wanna reschedule the appointment. It will then automatically generate and send out a light nudge email, and then it will post an update to your Slack sales channel, letting you know what's going on. Now let's take a quick look at the entire AI orchestration process in action from A to Z. So we're gonna see how these three layers work together in the real world. Let's say a customer messages your website chatbot to schedule an in-person appointment. The intelligence layer analyzes the message and it learns that the client wants to schedule a last minute haircut for this afternoon. The intelligence layer also picks up on the fact that the client is stressed out and in a hurry, right? It can determine their tone. The integration layer uses your appointment booking software's API to see if your salon has any availability within the next two hours. It also checks your CRM software to see if this is an existing client or a new client. Turns out the client's in luck. You had a last minute cancellation this morning and now you have space to take the appointment. That intelligence layer automatically drafts a message that invites that client to book the available time slot and the integration layer delivers that chat message. The orchestration layer determines that if the customer books the appointment, they'll receive an automatic email confirmation. If they don't respond right away, they'll be sent a discount code. So if they say no, the AI agent will escalate that chat to a live agent to see if the client wants to reschedule the appointment for another day or if they're just done. That's it. That's the three layers of AI orchestration working together in perfect harmony. 
So that's it for this installment of our three-part AI orchestration series. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out the next video. And once again, all the videos in this series are linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. We know there's a billion YouTube channels you could watch and you chose ours. That really means a lot. Thank you from the CX Foundation. I am Catherine and we will see you next time.